What's up guys, Piper here, bringing you a video today of me doing some MM Hunter PB action on Piper, of course. But I do want to talk immediately about something to you guys, which is something I'm actually pretty hyped about, that I heard about recently, and something that will actually be coming to effect tomorrow. Uh, it's not in effect yet, and by the time this video is out, it's probably already in effect and stuff like that. But I haven't been able to, of course, take advantage of it because it's not actually out yet. So basically what I'm looking forward to is not getting fucking murdered by rogues every for two seconds of damage. Jesus Christ. What I'm looking forward to is Australian servers. Now, this is something that basically should be in the game since 1993. For some reason, they decided not to put it in for the longest, long, longest time. It's like, it's the most ridiculous amount of time, actually. Like, it seems, it seems like they were just fucking with us as Australians. Like, there's Oceanic servers, and if you guys aren't aware, I'm sitting in a stun spam. If you guys aren't aware, I'm sitting in a stun spam. And I'm probably gonna die because rogues are extremely fucking overpowered right now. And it kills my life, seriously. Jesus Christ balls. Why, why even? Why even is this a thing? It's just it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of the road now. I have no healers on me either, which means he can pretty much open up on me whenever he wants right now and I die. So that's that's also a thing. I'm trying to stay safe by staying with these other hunters here. Rashi has the same pet as me. Nice. Leo and Liam. Is this pet bigger than me? Is it bigger than mine? What's going on here? Is this lion bigger than mine? That's some bullshit. That guy's hacking and has bigger pets. What's going on? How do you... Oh, god damn it. Anyway, so basically, the reason I'm really, really hyped about an Australian server is I should actually be able to play with a ping of about, say... I'm hoping for a ping of about 50. If I get a 50 ping, then I actually will be able to do some serious PvP for you guys, as in pushing to, like, maybe try for rank 1, maybe trying to go for fucking... At least, at least doing some hardcore, high-rated fucking arenas. Because as of right now, I've never really given a shit about it because... As an Australian playing on a US server, you're always you're always playing at a disadvantage. You're always I'm like right now I'm doing BGs with 441 MS. That's my world MS right now. My home MS is 268. That's just that's just my base and this is usual, this is everyday like average when I'm playing the amount of MS I have. I do decently with it. I'm obviously pretty used to having that high ping. So, I just kind of, I do okay, but I never really consider myself a serious 100% PvP here because I don't want to, I don't really want to try when I'm going to, I know I'm at a disadvantage. It's uh, one of the main things I hate about certain games or certain situations is if you have to try and beat someone and you're definitely at a disadvantage. Obviously, people are, like, it's, it's different for some games and if you're the, just meant to be the underdog, then that's fine. Or there's games where there's multiple of you and you're all at a disadvantage and there's one strong guy, but it's a team versus one, so it's kind of, it makes it more even. Shit like that is, like, fine to me. But when you're playing at a distinct disadvantage just because of, like, a certain situation, like, for instance, I live in Australia, therefore my net's worse, and on top of that, your servers are in US, which means I have to connect like across the world to try and get any kind of decent net speed. It's gonna make it so if you are just simply in America, you have a better net speed and you are going to do default better than I am. Um, and they, they do a decent job at like masking this and trying to like uh, hide the MS and hide the ping, but um, it's still it's still very noticeable. I just crit that guy so fucking hard. He just went back to the fucking future. Did you see that? Holy balls! Anyway, so basically what I'm saying is. Hopefully, I think they're free transfers, I think. If they're not, I'm going to have to pay to transfer, which is like, I don't want to do that, but I'll, I will do that. Like, it's worth it to actually get on a, an Australian server, um, because it's, it seriously will make a huge fucking difference. And that guy just goes down for fucking, oh my god. I accidentally put crows on his pet, because he died so fast. I was trying to put crows on him, and he died that I auto-fucking cast on his pet. Jesus Christ balls. That was kind of ridiculous. Holy shit. Chim shot through his face, dropped him. I'm in like a fucking truck. I burst the DK right before this uh, BG, and it I got wrecked. I just versed the DK. I mean, I, I killed him. Like, we were both almost dead. But he got like close to me once and killed me. Like, I was just. It, I hate when that happens. When it's like really close, really close, really close. And you run out of like your kiting stuff. And I guess you're to fucking heal. So I'm gonna immediately interrupt that. Get two steady shots up for some fucking focus here. Get an aim shot off. I'm, I'm standing still, so I should get my buff in a second here. And there's the buff, and here comes an aim shot, fucking kill shot, and you're dead. And you're just dead. A lot of disc priests around. I feel like this might be the new spec, because there's just so many around. But so yeah, you guys should actually be able to see me doing a lot more PP as of Warlords of Draenor, and a lot more stuff like that on an Australian server. What does this mean for you guys on US? Uh, it basically just means that you won't be able to see me in the world. Uh, so all that means is basically, for instance, we can still do BGs, we can still do arenas, we can still do dungeons, we can still do everything, like everything you ever wanted to do ever, we can still do. But the problem is, if you ever want to do any kind of world PvP or something like that, oh my god, that death grip, that death grip actually might save my life, holy shit, thank you Mr. DK. Thank you DK for saving my life, maybe? Oh my god, there's a lot of them here. Oh my god, there's a lot of them there, I'm so fucking dead. 
I didn't realize it was 5v1. The, the, the fucking... Oh, there literally was 5. 5v1, holy shit. Um, all that means is you won't be able to see me in the world, even if you invite me. Like, right now, if on a US server, you invite someone, you phase over and shit like that. For some reason, Oceanic servers don't do that. Then again, I don't know if they're going to fix that with this kind of crossover thing. Hopefully they do, but I doubt it. It's not a thing. If they're actually going to be different servers now, I doubt they're going to be bothered to create a cross-server fucking thing. They're just going to keep it separate yet again. Uh, which it kind of annoys me, to be honest, because it's like, uh, why... Like, they have the infrastructure to be able to support this. I don't know why they give a shit about separating these people. Obviously, it might be because they're at a disadvantage, but we're, we've been playing at a disadvantage anyway. Like, like what, what the fuck? So it makes no sense to me. Either way, I'm super hyped for these new servers, and hopefully, hopefully it'll actually make a noticeable huge difference, and I'll actually be able to fucking do some crazy ass shit. Not to mention, guys, when you play, like, I assume on a Australian server, there'll be a lot more active people when fucking, when I get online and stuff like that. Like, it'll be an actual thing where, because right now, I play at, like, late times for Australia, so I'll get on and play, say, at maybe 7pm to 1am my time. And that's always going to be, like, the worst time to play on an American server because everyone's asleep in America. Everyone's asleep or it's, like, 9 a.m. to fucking 12 fucking a.m. It's, like, it's, I mean, 12 p.m. It's, like, it's completely, no one's, everyone's at work or at school or whatever. No one's fucking on WoW, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm not playing with people who are actually on or I can actually, like, get a group of people together to play with. Even, even doing that, like, with YouTubes, it's, it's hard to fucking find people that are on at the same times as me to play with. So if I'm on a Australian server, it'll be a lot easier for me to find and, and chill the fuck out. This guy's just on his fucking, on his fucking broomstick, floating around. He doesn't give a shit. You can get fear here, which sucks, but fear only lasts, like, five seconds, so I shouldn't be fine. It's not too bad. I mean, fear, they've reduced fear, and honestly, it feels like it's still the fucking same, to be honest. I mean, I know they've reduced it. I can see the, the, the fucking... Re Juice fucking time on that. It still feels like 19 years. Good lord. Anyway, 11 kills, one death, damage done. Didn't top it. I have another hunter up top, and then a fucking red pot. I'm doing some work. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day, love dear. And uh, thanks for commenting and liking and stuff like that, guys. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, no. Bye, bro. Bye, bro. Bye, bro. Don't do it. Come to your sentence, bye, bro. Ah. Bless